Hi guys, good morning. Here we are writing out a morning routine for myself. This is something new for me to actually write myself out a full schedule of things I want to do in a day and mark them off a list. I'm trying to nail down that perfect morning routine that makes me feel good and productive and feel like I can get things done and feel accomplished at the end of the day. That's what I want. I want to feel good and accomplished at the end of the day and like I didn't waste the day. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing is writing out a short morning routine for myself and then trying to uh, keep the mess of content sorted out in my brain. So I'm in my brain dump notebook at the moment, just making a list of what I need to get edited and video ideas. That's usually where I keep all that sort of thing in this one particular notebook. And another thing I wanted to focus on in this vlog is goals. I set myself some monthly goals that I feel like are attainable and like something that I could accomplish for, for an entire month. And this is currently the month of April that I'm doing this. So yeah, hopefully I stick to this and I want to see if I can. And if these routines and goals work out for me, what needs to be tweaked and changed and my goals for this month are to stay on a daytime sleep schedule, not get turned around, and stay up all night because that really damages my mental health, I've discovered, and my brain is at its best when I am productive and up during the day. I thrive. I'm a morning person. I thrive in the morning. That is my time of day. So my goal is to just stay on a daytime schedule and not stay up all night playing video games. <laughs> And my next goal is to eat right, not eat junk food. Stay away from the combos, the monster energies, and the gummies because that's that's my uh, kryptonite there is monster energy drinks, combos, and gummies. This month I want to really stick to my healthy eating, taking care of myself, and trying to feel good physically. So my next goal is to edit a video three times a week and get it out and exported and scheduled isn't always the easiest thing for me depending on what's going on like when I can actually sit down and edit and yeah so my goal is to be able to do this in the morning before I sit down to film is to get a video completed it may be just doing rough cuts on two videos one morning and then adding the final touches the next morning but I want to be able to really focus on the content for a good couple hours every morning and get those videos ready to be exported and uploaded, scheduled, with thumbnails made, ready to go. And another thing I really want to be able to do is stay on top of my laundry. Laundry has always been a struggle for me, which I think it's a struggle for everybody. We let the laundry go, it sits in the basket for two months before you realize, oh crap, I need to fold that. Or you run out of laundry baskets like I do and need to wash clothes, so you end up in this mad rush folding five loads of laundry. <laughs> so my goal is to just fold at least an armful of clothing <laughs> every morning, what I have time for. I may not have time to fold like everything in the laundry basket because sometimes I do like quite large loads, um, but at least keep on top of it and keep the cycle going of having an empty laundry basket, stuff washed, stuff in the dryer, swap it around and just keep a nice cycle of that going so I don't get behind on laundry. My husband always has clean work clothes and I always have what I want clean <laughs> and yeah I just want to be more organized when it comes to doing laundry and my clothes be in a better organized state than they always are and not dig through laundry baskets to find something. And my last goal is to cook dinner twice a week. I used to cook dinner every night and I don't know what happened but in the last four, last few years, I completely got out of the habit of cooking. I lost all interest in cooking. It's not something I ever enjoyed and I still don't. But I'm trying to find a love in the kitchen with cooking and finding some things I'm enjoying to cook. And yeah, so at least twice a week, I want to cook dinner or lunch, whatever, depending on like my schedule and stuff, but uh, I want to try to get two meals fully home cooked, 
not cutting corners type of meal. Not just a something you throw in the microwave or whatever. Like real fresh ingredients devoting a couple hours to it cooking. And if it works out well, I'm going to try to add in a couple more nights a week and go from there to really try to build that habit of looking forward to making dinner because that's not something I ever look forward to. But yeah, that's my goals and I wanted to uh, really try to stick with those this month and the morning routine and see what adjustments need to be made, how things work out, and if it's conducive to my life. We'll see how this works out, but I'm, um, I'm hopeful that I'm able to stick to these things and be productive and just feel proud of myself and accomplished by the end of the day and at the end of the month. And then we'll revisit and see how things are progressing. I was really, really inspired by Simply Home with Sherry. She started doing a morning routine and she did a video about it and also like a monthly goals. And I downloaded her printables even and just really got so inspired to try this myself and try to really try to to really stick to something because I'm I'm not good at that. <laughs> I thrive in a routine, but I'm also self-destructive when it comes to routines. So yeah, um, that that's that's my main goal right now is to really hone in on that routine and get it done. But here's today's makeup and look that I did, and uh, this video will be coming soon with that look. I was just really, really tickled with it, but I just wasn't feeling like talking to the camera today. <laughs> and now I'm making a shopping list because, like I said, cooking. Um, so I'm planning some stuff out to make basil steak. So, yeah. Putting away my groceries now and goofing off with my husband in the kitchen because we did run and get the groceries together. Oh, and I found these new snacks. These are called nachos. <laughs> they're basically nuts made of, or they're, bas they're Doritos made of nuts and they're not bad. Oh, I've cooked chicken this night and it sucked. <laughs> I didn't like it one bit. It was just, no. I don't think the air fryer and the chicken was for me. And that barbecue sauce I used was glorified ranch it sucked and oh I also did run to Walmart so I'm showing you some earrings I picked up I, I like these little snake earrings super cute right and I also picked up a few things from elf from the cookies and cream collection I got the brushes uh, the lip scrub and the sponge and I did get a new type of dr. Teals to try out love my dr. Teals and I got a new travel bag because we are going out of town and I cannot find my travel bag anywhere. I don't know where it is. My little weekender. Cannot find it. But how cute. How cute.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little nice walkthrough with my perfect morning routine. I'm really working hard on having like a solid morning routine and sticking to it. And it's currently Thursday that I'm filming this and it's been pretty successful. I'm proud of myself for sticking with it. And the goal is to get that through the month and really nail it down and see what's practical for every day of my life. How. I can achieve those goals, right? Yeah, you got to see me cook dinner last night. That was just a kind of one-off. Wasn't the same day. I just thought I needed to cook dinner, and I was attempting basil steak, which I've talked about basil steak, getting it at a restaurant that we go to often, and I wanted to try my hand at making it myself, so I used like all fresh vegetables. I had fresh basil. My husband helped me cook the steaks because he's really good at cooking steaks. That was my first time cutting up a full onion. That was torture. And I don't ever want to do that again, but I probably will have to because, you know. But yeah, we. I'm really proud of how that came out. I think it did really well. And it was a lovely dinner. Lila came over and enjoyed it with us. So yeah. Anyways, I thought I wanted to throw that in there and see if I could actually cook a meal like a grown-up for once. And not just use pre-cut up vegetables. <laughs> but yeah, uh, first time like cutting a bell pepper ever because I don't like bell peppers, so I never use them. But the recipe called for them, which I like, I didn't eat any of the vegetables, I just ate the meat and the spinach. Because I pretty much just like spinach. <laughs> I like greens, and that's the extent of it with the veggies that I'll eat. And anyway, cut those up, and then the onions. I, I do not like onion at all. Like, I want no part of an onion. But again, recipe called for it, and that was the first time I've ever actually cut one up fully. Anything like a recipe calls for like bell peppers, onions, and all that kind of stuff. I just buy the Holy Trinity mix cut up already over in the produce section from like a little Cajun brand. And that's normally what I use, and it just cook it down to where I don't crunch into anything, because I don't like crunching into stuff. Anyway, we did everything from scratch yesterday. And I marinated the steaks overnight. It came out great. Anyway, just wanted to throw that little bit in there. But yeah, now it is time to start a new vlog. We're going to be doing some pack with me action, go on a little vacation for the next one. But uh, that is all for this little week. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I, I enjoyed it. I had fun filming it and like really making myself work on that day routine and get things down and being productive and happy and feeling good with myself, feeling proud of myself. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys in the next one. Do stay safe. <laughs> stay safe. Stay spooky. Bye now.